today I'm gonna to be doing another lipstick from the <coughs> collection that's probably not what it's called I've just made that up but you know the Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star collection what lipstick am I gonna do I don't know oh my god I'm missing one oh it's in my handbag I used it don't worry I'm thinking about using either this this one or this one I'm gonna do the look and I'm gonna look and I'm gonna go okay we're gonna do that so basically I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna tell you guys what I'm what I want to do today because this is my channel and I get to do whatever I, the heck I want on my channel because this is basically my own little TV show so what I'm doing is I if you don't know me you should know this I am obsessed with M -M 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 Mitchell I Oh my god, I'm his biggest fan. I am the biggest fan girl. If I saw him in person, I would die on the floor. I love him so much. Have bought literally all his collabs that he's ever done in his life. I'm waiting for the Tati lashes to Tati? Tati? Um the lashes to turn up before the bottom. Oh my god, I am obsessed with him. I love him so much. I think he's so talented and I just would love to be him. Now, I did this makeup look. <coughs> party a couple of weeks ago and I am obsessed with it but I thought today I would do everything that he does like I'm gonna follow a tutorial that he does and I'm gonna do all the steps that he does so this was like a challenge a couple of years ago I did one with like Nikki tutorials not didn't collab with her don't get too excited but I copied like one like step by step of what she did I'm gonna do that with Mim Mim Mitchell he did a look on Jamie Genevieve who also <laughs> I love that bitch so much. Honestly, the love of my life. She is so cool. And honestly, I did this look really half-assed in a Airbnb with no lighting. I did it really fast, and this is this is what I did. Here it is. Here, like, like it came out pretty average. I want to do like the a really good job today. I just want to test myself. Okay, I've got most of the products that he's using, and oh my god, guys. I don't know if you saw my Instagram story, but I was like pulling my pants. I, I'm gonna get rid of, oh my God, I bought a brand new sponge because look at my one. She's been through some shit, you know? I have bought all of his bloody, this stuff. Oh my God, this cost me an arm and a leg. He used like four, no, three or four of these and I just cannot wait to use them. So that's what we're doing today. I'm just basically using new products and I have got the new Jeffree Star and Morphe brushes. This is a really long intro. I'm so sorry. Look at all of these. I just don't, I don't want to use them. Oh my God. Should this be my thumbnail? That's quite arty, isn't it? That's what's going on so far, fam. So um, sorry that I just used the word fam. That's really cringe. Just let's shut up and let's just get started. Woohoo! Do you mind if I take my top off? We're, we're such good friends. Can I just take my shirt off? I don't have shoulders. Like, my shoulders are so slumped that school bags, singlets, all just do this. So it's just easier. You're not going to see my boobs. They're so far down. They're, like, literally touching my knees. Can you see my... No, you can't. Hello, your knee, puppy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what he's obviously doing. So in this video, he is literally doing Jamie's eyebrows. Okay, and he's literally just doing this. We're gonna see how this goes because I just don't think I'm gonna like this and I'm probably going to go back in with eyebrow products. But you know, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna do as I'm told. Okay, I'm also gonna like prime the face. It, he never said what he used, so I'm just gonna use like my, my normal, which is the Milk Hydro Pro. So he's using the NARS concealer and he's doing, oh my God, let me just, sorry, I'm just trying to, see he puts it like here here and on the top lip oh my god sorry i'm just watching we're gonna use a little bit of this oh my god i've actually used quite a bit of this i feel like i never use this but oh my god the consistency of this feels like that terrible maybelline mousse that we all used to use and it never had my skin color but i just had to use it because everyone else was using it oh god this is fun i'm already having fun are you having fun i am it's kind of hard to see because like he's using a concealer that literally completely matches jamie me not so much. And then he goes in with a sponge. Doesn't that just make sense? Yes, it does. I bloody trust the dude, okay? He went in with like a NARS concealer. So um, I literally have never used this because I didn't think it looked that good on me. But I'm following everything that I have, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just not keen on it. Like, oh my god. My dream is for him to do my beat. Okay, so he blends it out literally seamlessly. Maybe I don't even need... Oh, he did use a little bit of foundation! 
Okay, well first of all, he like blends all of this out, okay? Like, I look so good already. Who taught him all this shit, you know? Was it like P. Louise? Didn't he do P. Louise makeup, like, learn there? Also, apparently when he blends, he's like not even touching the product. He's literally like... I look so good. Already. Hope I'm not butchering this, because I really like what's going on. I look very pale. I feel like I've like gotten a little bit darker because of the sun, but like... I don't want to go out and get a foundation that's like two shades a little bit darker, you know, like... I'd rather just use my really pale stuff and then just like warm myself up with bronzer. Because like, when I get foundation, I get the NARS foundation and it's like 70 bucks. It's like... Oh, it really hurts to get, you know? My biggest advice to anyone, I get quite a few messages, which is cool. I love getting messages from people. I do my best to respond. Lots of people are like, oh my god, what should I do with my makeup? And like, I'm beginning with makeup, what should I do? My biggest advice is to get a really good foundation, okay? Like, get samples first before you splurge. Because imagine getting a really shitty high-end foundation that doesn't work, you know? It took me so long to find like the perfect foundation for me, which is the Sheer Glow. It took me so long, but now, like, I will not touch any other foundation. Oh, he's using a NARS concealer, but it's like dark. Okay, no, what I always use is, um, because he's using creams right now, very important to note. I've been using the Huda Beauty Tantor thing. Oh, um, this is so amazing. So, so amazing. And he puts literally like hardly anything on her face. But it might be a bit different because he's using like a liquid. Whereas this is like, it's like a wet consistency but it's not like liquid, you know what I mean? Ooh, what do we do? And we're gonna blend that out at some point, so. Okay, he's blending it out with a beauty blender. I've never done that with this, so I'm a little bit nervous. Oh! I look a bit grey. I'm not as, like, warm. Oh my god. Seriously, I'm gonna put a photo in on how she looks right now. Why does she look like this? How come I don't look like that? I look really matte. I don't know what she's drinking or eating, but whatever, like, she's literally glowing. Oh my god, and they've also put stuff on her lips. Okay, okay. Let me just blend this out with all those dries. He also put a little bit more up in here. I saw him add like a little bit of concealer though. That's so weird. What is going on? Oh, I'm not gonna question it. Don't worry. I'm don't worry. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do what he's doing because whatever. I feel like this is gonna crease really bad because he doesn't use powders for a really long time. I get super my eyes are so crepey. Oh my god. This is my favorite part. He's adding the blush. Well, it's not a blush, it's a he uses it for the oh, here we go. This is it. So he's using this as a blush. Oh my god, it is just, this blew me away. I can't stop using it. It's so awesome. It is so, so amazing. We're gonna add literally like, uh, like that's too much. Like you don't even need that much. And then blend it out all on your beauty blender. Like that. Your hand's gonna look like jelly chip ice cream. And then, Oh my god. So stunning. So, so stunning. How neat is that? That is so, so cool. I kind of go a bit ham on this, but I literally just can't get enough of it. I'm going to do this so much more often because I absolutely love this. I love the hyper pigment thing. Oh my god, I just... So good. Okay, so now he is going in with a powder and it's a bronzer. I'm just scared that this might be like too shiny. Okay, so he's basically just going over like what we just did for the bronzer, like the contour. Basically going over that. I have no idea what bronzer he's using. It's a matte one. This one's got like a little bit of shimmer in it. This is the Parquet Princess by uh, Tarte. I just love my face right now. It looks so cool. Okay, he's now going over like everything with the beauty blender. So I'm gonna do that too. Okay, he's using like a purple pink. It actually looks like Pixie, but I'm worried that it's not. Was that Pixie by Peaches and Cream? Oh my God, I think it actually might be. We're gonna give it a go. Okay, so what he did was, he like had it in his hand, cause he's a magician, and like swiped it off a little bit. Oh, that's so shimmery. I don't know if that's it. 
Oh my god. Oh wow, okay. I think I might be right. Wow, okay. I've been watching him like a bloody whore. He's adding like blush. Oh my god, he's doing nose contour. Oh my god, oh my god. And he's literally like not even putting any product on it. Like he's doing it so lightly. I'm just gonna use one of these brushes cause like, why not? Oh my god, so I think the face is finished. So now we're gonna move on to the eyes. I'm so nervous. Oh my god, I really wanna do a good job here. Mitchell is using, I think he's using this again. I'm pretty sure he is. I'm running out of this. And then he puts a powder over it. People have not been using powders on the eyes for ages. And the reason why he's doing that, we're gonna be using one of these, his acid rain paints. And the thing is like, if you think about it, if we just use this and this, it would just mix together. So. We're just putting a little bit of powder over the top, not too much, but just a little bit. Lol. I went out Sunday night to a bar and I ended up DJing with Thane Kirby, who is a radio personality, bought literally drum and bass into New Zealand um, many years ago and I was at a pub and I was DJing with him for the night. It was so much fun. Don't know how that happened, but it just randomly did and he had a great time. So we're going in with this. <gasps> so, so I've never used any of the paints before so god give me strength. I am new to this. It is literally a paint. Oh, look at the pigment. <gasps> What's going on here? The pigment of this is so mental. Oh my god these dry down really really fast. Whoa, did you hear that? Oh my god, there's a cat fight outside. So now, super exciting, we are going in with, with the palette. Yeah, he's using mini, which is like this dark red pink color. Blending this for like the past five minutes because I want it to be like I'm a Mimim Mitchell blend, you know what I mean? This video is taking me so long to film, okay? you Not that you guys know that, but for me, I've literally been here since I started filming at 11, it's 2.50. I just, I'm like, I stopped, had lunch, watched a documentary, like, I don't know what I'm doing, like, I don't know why I'm faffing around so hard, but I am, and it's not really okay. I need to actually finish this. I've got shit to do, places to be. Moving on, Mitchell used Mixer, which is, oh my god, honestly, I wanna start doing this to all my eyeshadow looks, cause it's so much fun. It's this one here, Mixer. I thought it was Manchester at first, but right in here. I just cannot blend as good as Mimi Mitchell. I mean, I don't think many people can, but this is what I've been desperately wanting to use ever since I was born. Blank canvas. Oh my God, that is the most thinnest, most pigmented. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is my new favorite. What we're doing is we're going in with Melted, which is this crazy, oh God, where am I? This gold shimmer right here. What have I done? <laughs> and then we're going in with Michelle, which is this beautiful pink color here. I'm loving it. Not sponsored. actually using this brush quite a bit actually. So now I am going in with Rattlesnake, which is another peaches and cream pigment. Oh my god, I'm trying to open this. It's so hard. And he took a little bit and put it literally right here. I don't even think if this is the right 
color that he used but I think this looks so sick. He also went in with this color here, Ibiza, which if you don't have this you could honestly, because I used this last time, I used the this color here. They're basically the same. I mean that one looks darker but it's, it's really not. He just went like this. Didn't really go the whole way, just the ends of it. Also, oh my god, I need to talk about a conspiracy. I don't really have a controversy, but I said I'd try and do them. Last time I talked about Princess Diana, didn't I? Okay, so another one that I'm like, nope, I believe this. The moon landing, I reckon it was all fake. I totally think it was all staged. I'm also just going to go under my eyes, by the way, while I'm talking. It was all staged, and that America just wanted to be the first people like on the moon, like just to claim it. First man to walk on the moon, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I don't think so. I think it was in a bloody studio. There was some stuff that I watched. Again, research it yourself. Research is key. Read somewhere that there was like the flag was like going like this. There's no wind up on the moon, you idiot. So the flag would have just been like this, like down, you know, because there's nothing up there. But apparently it was like swaying in the wind. Uh, we don't have wind on the moon. We've actually got nothing. There's no oxygen there. Suck it. And something about his footprints. There's something about the footprints that, um, not right, doesn't add up, or something like that. There was like a leader that was like, yeah, yeah, I know that the, yeah, we know, we know that the moon landing was fake. It was like someone released something that they were not meant to, and they said something they shouldn't have, and all that jazz. Just look up, look it up, but I remember researching this ages and ages ago, and I made my own opinion on it, and I was like, yeah, nope. I don't believe that, and um, yeah, there you go. I don't think the moon landing was real. I reckon there's been people that have actually gone to it now, 100%, but I reckon back in that, back whenever it happened, I don't know when it happened, like in, was it the 50s? When was moon landing? Was it the 50s? Sorry, 1969. 16th of July, my birthday, to the 24th of July. Houston, we have a bloody problem. He put gems on here. I don't have gems. Literally just looks like white dots. I could just do white dots. And we can do some trick photography here. I'm gonna quickly just put on some eyelashes and I'll see you in literally two seconds. One, two. Just going for something quite natural, okay? The lashes that I'm wearing, not the bottoms. I can't remember what the bottoms are because I cut them up, but my top lashes are by Bad Gal Beauty. Oh my Jesus Christ almighty God and everything like that. These are the coolest lashes I have ever tried in my bloody life. They are so amazing. I'll link them down below. Have a look at their website. I use super glue to instead of actual regular glue because I want to be in these for the rest of my life. I absolutely love them. Anyways, so now we are going to be putting on the lipstick. What lipstick are we going to do? I don't know. The lipstick that I am going to be using is... Jeffrey. What the fuck? It is this amazing bright deep pink which would go perfect with what's going on here. I'm not sure about my eyebrows. I think I'm going to fill them in a little bit. Like I said, I was going to like look at the end and be like, um, do I like this? Do I not like this? I don't really like it. I'm going to put some eyebrow shit on. That's just who I am. So I'm just going to go in with the brow styler. Fill in the sparse edges, like the sparse bits. And now I'm gonna be using, I tried this out. Now I said this, I did like a little mini review on Instagram and I swear to God, it feels like there's nothing in here, like absolutely nothing in here. And I spent $30 and the smell is awful. It smell. oh my God, it just smells. Oh, it stinks. It smells not good. Like, it smells... It smells like Hello Kitty spray, but, like, worse. I don't know what it is. And, like, the mist is really weird. It doesn't feel like a fine mist. It feels like splatter. I don't know. Maybe I just got a real shit one, but it was... Yeah, I'm so disappointed in this, to be honest. Like, Mum, come here, please. Come here. I'm just filming for everyone. Say hi. Hi. Show the dress. It's your dress. I know. That's why. I'm saying show it. Smell this. So this is setting spray. Close your eyes. Mmm. 
No, that doesn't smell nice, does it? It smells delicious. No, it doesn't. I, I think it, it. It smells revolting. No, it smells good. Oh, I think it smells awful. It smells like Hello Kitty spray. Yes. Yeah, I don't mind. Under my pits. Set my pits. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, not, I'm just not sure about it, to be honest. TBH. But anyways, I'm all done now. Thank you so much for watching. Guess what I'm about to do? I'm about to take my dog to the park looking like this. Look like I'm about to go to the Easter show. And then I'm going to have a bath. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry that I wasn't really talking in it, like chatty. I was just trying to do like a bit of a challenge, like a m -m 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 Mitchell challenge. Hope to see you all again very soon. Say hi to your mum for me. And look after yourself. But most importantly, stay bloody groovy. See you all soon. Bye.